All right. Now we have the Glock 17. Beautiful piece. It's got a flashlight on it. And uh, to use it, you just press your flashlight button. Uh, what do you think default is L or light? And uh, very useful in the dark at night time. And it uses a uh, 17 round clip, 19 millimeter if I'm correct. Oops, wrong button. Yeah, 19, uh, 9 millimeter. And I really like this gun. Accurate. Um, well, soldier is set for 50 meters, so we'll test that uh, statement there without zooming in. Distinguished sound from the 1911 Glock. Or, excuse me, a 9 millimeter Glock. Very accurate, just like the revolver. I have shot these weapons and tested them before I started recording. There is a. <laughs> I'll show you in a video. Um, we had a firefight with uh, a couple guys who came up in a jeep as we were hitting a helicopter crash. Uh, so three, two of my buddies were with me, and I had to use this gun to kill off all the zombies that we attracted after uh, going under fire. But, uh, this gun is very accurate. I love it. Even in real life, shooting this gun, very fun, uh, very reliable, easy to clean, durable. Um, you can almost throw this gun in the air, let it from 100 meters, have a truck run over it, and it'll still perform pretty good. 50 meters, pretty good. Let's go with uh, 75. round clip without zooming in first let's see if we can hit him yep right in the chest when I was aiming I actually used the Glock 17 at the range uh, not qualifying for concealed carry now zooming in at 75 Ooh, I missed at 75 meters let's uh that dot right on its body instead of trying to aim a little higher. So I'm going to say the effective range is 75, but let's up it up to 100 here. Alright, up and up to 100. Alright, let's see, zooming in. First shot and hit. Hit that gun, I swear it protects him. <laughs> two for two. Almost three for three there. Alright, so effective range here seems to be pretty good at a hundred meters. So if you have this weapon, hundred meters is pretty good against any player. I'm gonna push it to 125. Yeah, let's push this back to 125. This is actually getting pretty good. Still hitting him. That gun is still protecting him. Interesting, isn't it? Oh, ricochets. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, so far, I'd probably stick with my personal range of 100, 75 to 100, 100 being the max. I can't probably, I cannot shoot this gun confidently at 125. So I'm gonna put down the effective range on this sucker at 100. Very nice gun. Very nice gun. Uh, so far. Between this and the revolver, I'd probably have to use this gun, not only with the flashlight uh, being one of the ups compared to the revolver, but also the 17 round clip and the accuracy at uh, 100 meters confidently. I think I placed the revolver at 75 for my effective uh, shooting range, shooting distance. And let's try a different weapon here. 
to go through a list and uh, find out what's next. Okay, we have the M9. This was the standard pistol for the Army, uh, as well as other branches of the military. M9 is very uh, durable. And at 50 meters, this also uses a 9mm. Uh, in real life, this can be different. You can have it set for 40 caliber, 45 caliber, uh, whatever you like, really, uh, between those three. Maybe even more. But uh, at 50 meters, this gun also has a very distinct uh, sound to it. And let's try this sucker out at 50 meters without zooming in like this. Okay, so that was aiming for the soldier there. I fired at his body. And it missed the first shot, hit the second one. That was a little off. My aim was off too. Uh, should be dead center in his body. And went far to his right. Okay, so accuracy is almost like the map here. And the 1911. I would not be confident shooting this weapon at 50 meters. So I'll just leave it at that for right now. Let's so we'll switch it to 25 just to be sure. 25 meters. Accurate without zooming in. Except for that part. Zooming in. Aim it for the chest, got the shoulder. Aim for the ball here. And I don't know where that went. <laughs> I saw my own character for a second there. It's gonna be hard to explain. Yes, I am aiming for the ball. So it's pretty accurate. I'm gonna say it's accurate within 25 meters. <laughs> Yes, I would shoot this gun at 25 meters. Uh, let's go back to 50 real quick, and I'm gonna test some. This oh, this clip also uses a 15 round clip. Um, compared to the Glock, I definitely use the Glock than the M9 uh, in Daisy. In real life, who knows? I, I don't know. Zoomed in, I hit him. I was aiming for the chest. Aim for the chest again. And that went down to the legs. So, it's all over the place at 50 meters. I would not rely on this weapon any more than 25 meters. This gun also comes in silence, which I'll display right now. Uh, let's clip a silence. SD. And you'll hear the sound. Let's go to effective range of 25 meters. And as you see, it just sounds boom, very nothing. Accurate 25 meters. You can pretty much take a zombie's head or a player's head at 25 meters. Sometimes. <laughs> 15 round clip, you can take two shots in one head. Alright. See so what we got next. Maybe that's it. We'll see here. Alright, that about covers it, I think. There might be another pistol I'm leaving out. Um, I don't think so. Yeah, if I am, leave it in the comment or maybe I'll find out later and uh, post another video. But uh, the top gun that I would probably prefer would be the. Uh, Lock 17 with the flashlight, uh, 9mm 17 round clip, accurate range is uh, 100 to 125. I very much would like to shoot that gun, I can confidently shoot that gun at 100 meters in Daisy, and uh, would not have any problems with it. Uh, this is the uh, M9 SD, let's switch to the Glock, or G17 as most people call it. Interesting. 
I don't know why I did that. <laughs> so there you have it. I will post the uh, the uh, stats of each gun that we fired today. And you can compare the stats there. But uh, my top pick today is the G17 for pistols. All right. We will do more shots here with uh, probably sniper rifles next. Very interesting. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> yes, it did. You will go down first before this move. Fine. Headshot in your face. Uh. Later, folks.